Hello everyone and welcome back. In this video I'm going to show you how you can build a simple UV randomizer when you have to texture multiple objects and want to avoid texture repetition. So here you can see that we have a lot of repetition on this set of objects because I am stacking the UVs on top of each other to have more texture density. But enabling this UV layout node we can get rid of it for the most part and still maintain enough texture resolution. And we can also randomize the resulting UVs. I'm going to start with a box duplicated 20 times and with some basic UVs applied. Now we need to create an integer attribute dividing the pieces of geo into different IDs within a range. The total number means how many different islands of UVs we will have, meaning that any repeating ID will be stacked on top of the relative ID. Now we can lay out the UVs, but as you can see it starts to get crowded and this can hurt our texture resolution. What we can do is use the island attribute under connectivity and take advantage of the attribute we created before. We just need to promote the point attribute to primitive. And now you can see the resulting UVs being laid out into different regions but still stacking the ones with the same ID. In case you want to randomize the IDs, you can place a sort node before the wrangle, set it to random and play with the seed. This is what I've done for my original objects, the exact same setup. And the good thing is that we can still play with the random offset or even remove it if we notice any repeating patterns next to each other. So yeah, that's what I wanted to share with you. I am not sure this is the best approach, but if you know a better way, please let me know. And please check out my Patreon and Gumroad if you want to support the channel. Thank you and see you next time.